already sweating, bro. Oh, man. I don't know if it's because I've been sitting in front of these lights all night, but bro. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this week's video. I clearly have a lot going on. And because I get this bad boy in the mail, we got a lot of pink going on. And I thought this would be an interesting moment to talk about Jeffree Star. It's been a hot minute since I talked about Jeffree Star on my channel. If I'm sweating, please excuse me. It's hot as heck. 31 weeks literally today and I'm like feeling it. Anyway, so this is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Pink Religion collection he did introduce a new formula which is also the setting spray which actually i really freaking like this setting spray i want to get into my thoughts about the collection and then we'll kind of talk about the jeffree star conundrum i guess that's going on a lot lately there's been a lot of controversy over this i mean when isn't there with a jeffree star palette um there is a bunch of accessories that he launched like mirror like he does with every collection and they're Bunch of people are really calling him out for copying Kat Von D, but it's like he went with a religious theme. It's not, I don't know. I think people just want to make something of it because it's Jeffree Star and he's a really controversial character if you're unaware. I want to start first right off the back with the eyeshadow palette. This is going to be really easy to kind of give you a breakdown of because it's Jeffree Star quality. These eyeshadows are super pigmented. They blend beautifully. They're creamy. The shimmers are nice. There's only three shimmers. I guess that would be my only complaint in this palette is that you only have these two in the corner and then the one in the center. So these are the three shimmers that are in the palette. They are really pretty and you can tap them over. They do have a base to them, but they're, they can transform any color on it. Then you have this guy, which I'm going to get into this guy, but these have a pretty clear base and you can also tap them over any of the eyeshadows and it would transform it, make it that shimmering color that you really, really like. So it's definitely this palette. Let me just get into it then if I'm going to keep talking about it. So this is the Extreme Frost palette. I don't think he's ever put out a palette actually that has been just the Extreme Frost. One pan of the Extreme Frost on itself is $50. Here you get three shades for $62. So this is a really, really good deal. It's a huge pan size. You'll never run out of it. I know the $50 one is like even bigger, but this you'll be totally fine with. And you get these three really, really beautiful colors. I love it. I'm wearing like a mix of all of them everywhere, except on my eyes, I put the pink one down. These are really, really stunning. I love them. This palette, I feel like if you're going to get anything, this palette would be the most worth it. You can put it on your face, on your eyes. They're stunning, so reflective, so pretty, and a really, really, really great volume. I'll break down what's on my eyes for you already. I did film it, so I'll throw those clips in here. I began with Sugar Savior, and I really just blew it out in the crease, really just blended it until I got it to the size, shape, and the blowout, <laughs> blowout and the blending texture that I really, really love. Um, really shaped it out, winged it, um, kind of created the base for what I was going to lay down next. Then I went right underneath into Lollipop Luxury, kind of putting it in the same place, but not really like mixing it up too much, just kind of deepening the crease a little bit more. And then I dropped down into Beauty Killer. I kept that really, really low in the crease and kind of patted it on the inner and the outer corners. And then top that with handbag queen keeping that even lower and then of course with each time i kind of like smoked it out in the lower lash line just kind of piling them up on to kind of build that texture then for the center halo i took candy cathedral really just with my fingertips like i always do patted it out with the same brush that i did the handbag queen but just no new product just kind of tapped out the edges then top that with frosting cults and i really did like that but you know me, I can't help myself. Once I got into the Sacred Glass palette when I was highlighting my face, I tapped that on on top and that really just took it up to this next level. Then of course I highlighted my face, my inner corners, and my nose. And then lastly I topped it off with some setting spray. This is the new Holy Mist Soothing Facial Spray. This is the first time he's ever launched a face spray. He had the other one that he did with Morphe, but this one is actually from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is infused with dragon fruit extract, which I feel like is so extra, but I actually really love it. It smells like bubble gum and the mist is so fine, like so fine. You can't even really feel it when it hits your face, which is so misleading because I like 
really went in for it and that's probably like part of the reason why I am so glowy like not just that highlighter like I've had a powder once or twice I mean I am I am sweating but I've had a powder a few times just to like get it together there are also lipsticks and lip balms that came out with this collection I didn't really get them I do like the formula I'm actually wearing the only velvet trap lipstick I have in diet mannequin just with some gloss on top I like the formula it performs really well I just am not like a pink lipstick fan and if I'm gonna wear red I want it to be a liquid lipstick so that way I don't have to worry about it like getting all over my face um, but this one is the formula is still really good so if you like those colors you're not gonna be disappointed I just personally didn't so I didn't get them there is some staining it's very light also, there's a pimple right there. Ignore that. And some mascara that won't go away. And also some glitter. Anyway, very light pink staining. Concealer would cover it no problem. So not a big deal. Vegan shadows do that. So I did want to quickly kind of talk about Jeffree Star. He is a polarizing character in the beauty space. You know, before the whole Jeffree Star series, there was a lot of people that didn't really like him. And then, you know, when the series came out, public opinion really, really changed about Jeffree Star. People went from either loving him or hating him to everybody just loving him. He could do no wrong. He was just so honest about how he had changed over the years, how he had been affected and he's grown. And a lot of people really loved him. The public opinion turned from how could you support him to how could you not support him? And then... <sighs> that big chaotic drama get into happened and dear lord I feel like it's still kind of drama get into it just feels like it's never gonna end especially now that Tati's back but that's that's another video <laughs> I don't know I really loved Jeffree Star before every before the Shane Dawson series happened I really loved Jeffree Star I was a Jeffree Star stan then then I became an even harder Jeffree Star stan and <sighs> I feel like I kind of still am I definitely understand why people are frustrated with him. I too am frustrated with him as well. However, I just, I'm not at that point where I can't support the company. Not because I want to support Jeffrey, but because I want to support the team. Jeffrey, sure, he has the ideas, he throws them together, but he's not the one that executes them. His team executes them. His team makes the packaging, his team makes the formula, his team makes it happen. And I want to support those people. Nobody can deny that his brand is super creative. And as much as Jeffrey likes to take credit for that, it's definitely not. The Shane Dawson series proved that it's largely his team that you know takes his idea and makes it happen and they are super creative you look at any other makeup line Jeffree Star stands out for the creativity behind the products and it's his team that makes that happen and I want to support them you know they deserve it they work hard for it and whether you think they're there because for clout for money stuck in a contract whatever it may be I want to support those people whether or not I buy from Jeffree Star Cosmetics or not he's a millionaire he's got money not just in this makeup company he's got money in his apartments and his investments and everything like he showed it all in the documentary he's not just making money off this brand anymore so I want to continue to support those people of course I'm not saying that this is always going to be the case I don't know what could happen in the future literally it could be anything I just feel like at this moment in time I'm still okay with purchasing from the brand I don't know if that's gonna always be the case I can't say that it will be God knows we've seen crazier ish go down so who knows what will happen but if you see these products and you really really like it and you know that Jeffree Star will be making money off of this and you're comfortable with that absolutely buy it I don't think you're gonna be disappointed neither with the quality or the value of the products so far they're really great I wasn't expecting anything less of course it is stuff that he's come out with before just in different colors but they perform exactly like the other stuff so you're not going to be disappointed it's just you have to be aware that you vote with your dollars so if you're okay with supporting that then go for it I'm not gonna knock you if you don't want to support that I understand your money is your money you choose to spend it how you want to spend it and I will choose how to spend mine how I want to spend mine because Clearly I bought the stuff. I don't get PR. I'm not that fancy. I definitely am not a Jeffree Star stan like I used to be. Let me just make that also very clear. I would like him to be more responsible for his role in certain things. I definitely can see how manipulative some aspects of his uh, 
choices in his career have been on other people's careers as well as the beauty industry but at this moment in time I don't want to take away from the people who are actually making everything happen and that's just that I can't say that that will always be my feelings who knows what'll happen but for now I want to support those people and get some bomb ass products like look at my eyeshadow it looks so freaking stunning I love it I love how everything came out everything performed really really highly and at the end of the day you make your decision what's best for you is best for you i know this is a super quick video and i'm sorry for that but like i don't know <laughs> i don't know what else to say that is gonna be it for this week's video don't forget to like and subscribe drop any comments for any video requests you may have i'm thinking i want to do some murder mystery makeup a la bailey sarian that sounds really fun i feel like i would be exhausted by the time it was done but let me know if that's something you'd be interested in because I'm interested in it and I feel like I could do it. That's also all the content I watch on YouTube so like might as well. Thank you for stopping and hanging out with me and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! I look really glowy. It's because I'm sweating. I'm literally dripping sweat. I don't know if I can do this. I just filmed 45 freaking minutes of- no that's dramatic. I just filmed like 10, 20 minutes of content that wasn't even actually filming. Vatican Va Vatican Vatican Vanity Va Vatican Vanity That is so difficult to say Vatican Vanity